The Jordan River, a place revered by both Judaism and Christianity, attracts thousands on an annual pilgrimage. It holds immense significance for Christians globally, being the very site where Jesus Christ was baptized and declared the Son of God. Throughout history, this sacred river has witnessed extraordinary events, from the Israelites crossing into the Promised Land to the miraculous healing of non-believers. However, an unsettling transformation has gripped this iconic river, raising questions and instilling terror in the hearts of people in Jordan and Israel. In 1947, a Bedouin shepherd made a remarkable discovery near the Jordan River, close to the present-day West Bank. While tending to his flock, he stumbled upon a concealed cave containing ancient scrolls stored in clay jars. This find became one of the most significant archaeological discoveries, providing authentication to biblical claims. The Jordan River, serving as a natural border between Jordan and Israel, has played a vital role in preserving and studying the Dead Sea Scrolls. Recent years, though, have seen astonishing occurrences in the Jordan River, with ancient artifacts and prehistoric items resurfacing. Many believers interpret these events as signs of God's power in a changing world. One of the most intriguing spectacles is the transformation of a portion of the river, now known as the Blood River, due to its alarming red appearance. Before delving into this phenomenon, let's explore the connection between the Dead Sea and the recent extraordinary events around the Jordan River. Despite its name, the Dead Sea is renowned for its healing properties. However, reports have emerged of a mystical lagoon adjacent to the Dead Sea turning a blood-red hue. This phenomenon, currently under examination by Jordan's Ministry of Water and Irrigation, bears an eerie resemblance to the biblical event of water turning into blood, one of the plagues inflicted upon Egypt. The eastern shores of the Dead Sea, where this red lagoon is found, are also associated with the ancient cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, infamous for their destruction. The connection between the unsettling phenomenon and divine punishment adds an extra layer of intrigue and apprehension. Devout believers view it as a potential sign of an impending judgment day. The historical and geographical significance of these bodies of water, coupled with reports of similar occurrences worldwide, leads many to view these events as divine phenomena defying scientific comprehension. Understanding the biblical context, such as God's plagues upon Egypt, serves as a reminder to remain vigilant and attuned to signs in our daily lives. Reflecting on the story of Noah and the Great Flood, it becomes evident that ample warnings were provided before judgment. Similarly, God is presenting signs indicating an approaching day of judgment. The transformation of a pool of water beside the Dead Sea into a blood-red color serves as a stark reminder of biblical plagues. Eschatology, the study of end times events, is a complex subject, and discernment is crucial in interpreting signs. The unsettling phenomena in the Jordan River are seen by some as a warning to turn away from spiritual slumber. However, it is essential to understand the geological and historical significance of the Jordan River, to grasp the recent unsettling events in context. The Jordan Valley, stretching from Turkey to the Red Sea, forms part of the magnificent rift system in eastern Africa. This landscape, with its steep cliffs and gorges formed by smaller streams, has played a pivotal role in the lives of communities along its banks. Throughout history, the Jordan River has served as a lifeline, providing sustenance, livelihoods, and a natural line of defense for civilizations that flourished in its vicinity. The river's importance is evident in its role as a thoroughfare for travel and trade, attracting civilizations like the Canaanites, Amorites, Israelites, Egyptians, Greeks, Romans, and Byzantines. The rise and fall of these civilizations have left an indelible mark on the Jordan River's history. In conclusion, the recent unsettling events in the Jordan River and the adjacent Dead Sea prompt reflection on the historical, biblical, and geological aspects of these revered locations. As we navigate these uncertain times, the signs observed serve as a call to remain vigilant, discerning, and attuned to the messages that may be unfolding around us. The Jordan River holds immense significance, going beyond its role as a geographical feature and historical landmark. In the religious narratives of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, the river plays a central role. In Judaism and Christianity, it features prominently in ancient tales, such as the Israelites crossing it to reach the promised land led by Joshua. Stories of prophets like Elijah and Elisha unfolded along its banks, and it was where John the Baptist delivered sermons and baptized Jesus. 
the river is spiritually significant for Christians worldwide, attracting pilgrims seeking to emulate Jesus. In Islam, the Jordan River is one of the four rivers of paradise mentioned in the Quran. It is intertwined with stories of prophets and revered figures in Islamic tradition, making it a site of immense importance for Muslims. Beyond its religious and historical significance, the Jordan River has revealed hidden secrets. In 2021, a remarkable archaeological discovery occurred in Jordan's southeastern desert, offering a glimpse into our distant past. Stone carvings emerged, depicting human-like faces and a representation of a desert kite, providing insight into Neolithic life. Another astonishing find took place in Israel, where a submerged Neolithic village was discovered beneath the waters of the Jordan River. Approximately 8,000 years ago, a massive flood submerged the village, preserving stone houses, pottery, flint tools, and even graves. The Jordan Valley and the Jordan River serve as windows into our past, showcasing ancient civilizations, religious significance, and extraordinary archaeological discoveries. Recent shocking events in the Jordan River have prompted scientific explanations. While the alteration may have spiritual implications, it could also have a down-to-earth cause. The head of the Jordanian geologist syndicate suggested that the red color observed in the water might be attributed to factors like algae, iron oxide, or substances added by humans. Tests conducted on the red water revealed the presence of manganese, a naturally occurring element. Manganese, like iron, can cause a reddish color in water but is not known to pose health risks. Algal blooms or red tides, which occur when algae colonies rapidly grow, can also discolor water. Instances of water discoloration in different parts of the world have been attributed to both natural causes and man-made substances being released into the water. Despite scientific explanations, some Jordanian suspect government cover-ups or the use of the pool as a dumping ground for waste chemicals. Regardless of the cause, Christians are reminded to be prepared for the coming of the Lord. While the Bible does not specify the exact cause, believers are called to stay alert, as Jesus will return unexpectedly. Salvation is emphasized as the first step, accepting Jesus as Lord, Savior, and the way to God, ensuring eternal life. The transformation of the world and a judgment day are anticipated, where the dead will be judged based on what is recorded in the books, including the Book of Life. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiry.